What's up YouTube? Jeff back again here and today I'm shooting my third vlog live from my car. Now I've seen a couple other people try this. I'm trying this with the iPhone 6 Plus front facing camera so we're gonna see what the quality is like. I apologize in advance if the audio quality isn't that great or if the video quality isn't that great. We're gonna give it a try. So I got a few things I want to talk about, a few things about the channel, a few things going on with Android and what's coming up. Right now I'm on my way to teach a calculus class out here at the university. My summer course just starting today. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is the LG G4. We've got the LG G4 coming out this week and next week. Now this morning T-Mobile just announced that their version of the LG G4 will be available tomorrow, which is May 27th, and that they're going to have an exclusive on the leather back, so that's pretty interesting. Thinking about picking one of those up, I already pre-ordered the Verizon G4, the blue plastic back, but I kind of prefer the leather back, so plus I don't necessarily want that Verizon branding on my plastic back, even if I got the plastic back version. We all know how Verizon likes to brand their phones. But I'm really excited to get the G4 in my hands. I tried to get a review unit from LG and ended up not working out, but hopefully as the channel grows, we'll be able to get more review units, etc. But I'm excited to get my hands on the G4, play around with the camera, see what the phone's all about. So they got that coming up. We've also got coming up the Alcatel One Touch Idol 3. I'm supposed to get the Alcatel One Touch Idol 3 in today. So I'm gonna take a look at that phone. My main plan is to see if that phone compares well to the Zeus Sin Phone 2. I just did an unboxing of that and got the full review coming up. Suffice to say, uh, sort of a preview, the Zeus Sin Phone 2 is a really good phone for 300 bucks. So if you're looking to get a phone that's got good specs, super fast, with not really any lag, uh, for 300 bucks it's a really good buy. The only issue, of course, is that it has a mediocre camera, but what do you expect for 300 bucks? You're gonna get something, and the camera is the thing that usually takes the back seat whenever you have something that sort of gets degraded because of the price. But the Alcatel One Touch Idol 3 is actually a little bit cheaper than the Zenfone 2 at 250, so it'll be an interesting phone to take a look at. It has two gigabytes of RAM, not four gigabytes of RAM, but it does have a Snapdragon processor, an older 600 series chipset in it, but it does have a Snapdragon processor in there, so that'll be fun to take a look. So far, it's getting really good reviews on Amazon. I've also seen some other reviews that other YouTubers have done, and they seem pretty good so far, so I'm excited to take a look at the, the Idol 3. Also, this week, of course, I have a bunch more cases coming up. If you pay attention to my Twitter, you've probably seen I posted some HTC One M9 cases. I've got the leather HTC One M9 cases coming up from um, the HTC One M9 cases that are coming up that I ordered actually from this French company, which is called Norive, and I just got those in the other day. So that's coming. And I also have a few power banks coming up that I ordered from Xiaomi. So I ordered the other day, Xiaomi did a sale of their accessories here in the US and I was able to order some of those accessories. Sorry, there's a bit of debris here on the uh, the interstate, just got on the interstate. I ordered some of the accessories that they had on sale in the US. They only ordered, they only sold headphones and a few power banks uh, and then a Mi Fitness Band for 15 bucks. So I ordered one of each of those accessories. They were actually all super cheap. It was just that the shipping was quite expensive. I paid like 118 bucks for all the products, but in the end, the shipping ended up being somewhere around, I don't remember exactly, but about 45 bucks. So we're gonna take a look at the Mi Fitness Band, the Xiaomi headphones, and those couple power banks that I got in. I also got a bigger power bank in from Amazon, a three port power bank, that's coming up as well. And then a bunch more cases for the S6, and of course, once I get the G4 in hand, we're gonna have a bunch of cases coming up for the G4. And then the big topic this week in terms of Android news, of course, is that we have Google I.O. coming up. That's on Thursday and Friday. So I'm really excited to see what's gonna go down at Google I.O. 
we already know that we're going to see Android M coming out and we've already seen some of the features. It looks like Google is going to give us some more security in Android and it looks like they're also going to add in new things for auto, uh, for wear, perhaps for connected home within Android. And it appears that we're also going to get, if you saw my article on the news site the other day, it looks like we're going to get a new Photos app. So that looks pretty exciting if you take a look. That also has some new privacy features in there, like being able to share links. And then once you share the link, you can later delete the link, rendering it useless for anyone that has it. So that's a really nice feature that adds some privacy into Photos. Also got a completely revamped interface with new material design and a lot of other cool features, including better editing features, etc. Now, in my opinion, if Google would just redesign their camera app, I don't really like the stock camera app on the Nexus too much. It'd be nice if they had redesigned that. That would be perfect. That would add the photos and the camera. If both of those are redesigned, it'd be perfect. But I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more surprises coming up at Google I.O. I'm definitely looking forward to some more information about Android Auto. That's another thing that I've sort of put off doing is I have Android Auto right here inside the car. I've been trying to get in here to do a review. It's really difficult because my full tripod won't fit in here. I need to order a monopod. I've just been putting it off. I want to show you guys my Pioneer Android Auto unit, sort of walking through some of the features. I know not a lot of people have their hands on these and I sort of went through a difficult, uh, a bit of a pain actually getting installed in my Honda because my Honda Accord is rather new, it's 2014. It's a bit difficult. I actually had to get the old factory stereo out. It left a bit of a, it left a bit of a hole in my car. I'll have to show you guys that when I take a look, but I did it all for the price of Android, Android tech greatness. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I've definitely got the Android auto review coming up. I'm definitely going to do that. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what's up with Android auto. I'm hoping we might see a few new Wear devices show up at I.O. I actually have a hunch, even though I don't really have any credible rumors to go on, that we might see the next Moto 360 unveiled at I.O. or sometime just after, because Motorola actually put on sale the Moto 360 for $150. No special promotion or anything, that's just the new price. They put it on sale for that price this morning, and so... For that reason, I think we're definitely going to see the new one coming out soon, probably priced then again at 250 or 300 I know a lot of people are looking forward to the Moto 360. I am too, as long as they give me a reasonable amount of battery life. That was my main complaint with the original Moto 360. It's why I got rid of it. I'm now using the LG Watch or Bane as my Android Wear uh, daily device. So definitely excited about I.O. We'll be covering that on the new site, so check that out later this week. And then... A few other things now going on with the channel that I wanted to talk about. I did the drawing for the Pick My Case giveaway and only one person has responded so far. So I reached out yesterday again to the other two winners. We picked three total winners and asked them to send me their case choices. So if they don't do that by the end of the week, by Friday, uh, that's two weeks. I'm going to redraw two more names. So I wanted to give you guys an update. Tim DeLongchamp was one of the winners. He claimed his prize already. He got an Urban Armored Gear case in white for his Samsung Galaxy S4. So he was one of the winners, but the other two have not yet contacted me. So we'll redraw if we don't get a response back from them. Next, I have coming up on the channel. Right now, we're right at around 610 subscribers. As soon as I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do some other type of giveaway. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to give away, but if you guys have some ideas about what you'd like to see, feel free to drop a link down in the description and um, down in the comments and let me know what it is you guys want to see for a giveaway. Obviously, up to something reasonable. Uh, for the first giveaway, I bought those cases with my own money. Those weren't donated to me yet. I'm getting some product review requests, but until the channel gets a little bigger, I'm not going to get the chance to give away big things like phones. I mean, I hope that with you guys' support, eventually I'm going to get review requests, you know, from LG and all these bigger companies and we'll have some free phones to give away. And I definitely want to do that for you guys. 
I want to appreciate everybody who's, you know, been, you know, rocking with the channel from the beginning and supporting me. That definitely means a lot. And I'm not going to be able to do these reviews unless you guys are actually interested in seeing what's going on with the reviews. And then the last thing I want to talk about, which I sort of, this is sort of the end of the vlog, but I just wanted to talk to sort of the real, the real tech heads. My reviews are pretty long. And if you notice that some people in the comments complain about my reviews, well, there's a reason that my reviews are long and I'll tell you the reason just so that everyone knows if you're still listening to this video at this point, and I assume that you're interested, all the people who are actually hating on me, they probably already turned this video off or didn't even watch it. My style was greatly influenced by two other YouTubers that I really respect and two other YouTubers that I really tried to pattern my work after, and that's Flossie Carter and my friend Zito Max, Max Lee, who hired me to work for High on Android. Both of those guys, they do longer reviews that are very honest and give a real opinion. And they don't care if it's a five minute artsy type review. So, you know, I've tried to incorporate elements of both sides of YouTube space into my work. I've made some reviews that are a little more artsy with some voiceovers. If you take a look at my Galaxy S6 review, you'll see that. And then I've also done my HTC One M9 review was just sitting there telling you what I think of the phone, which is a lot of the way Flossie Carter does his review. So I'm not planning to make my reviews super short. I'm definitely not planning to make five minute reviews, six minute reviews, like some of the bigger YouTubers. I understand that they're successful and you know they're making videos that have a lot of art going into it. And that's great. And I wanna try some of those elements, but my review is never gonna be five minutes long. I'm always gonna give you my true opinion in everyday English at the end of the video. I think a lot of people respect that. So I'm gonna try some new shooting styles and some new formats. And I want you guys to give me your feedback. But I just wanna let you know the reason why I do have a longer review is because I wanna give you that true opinion and not necessarily condense that into a voiceover that doesn't seem real to some people. I want you to know my everyday experience. And that has some ums and some yes and yeah, I don't edit all that stuff out. Yeah, I edit my video, but I don't edit out all the, the ums. That's everyday sort of language. That's how people talk. So I'm not gonna edit that out. All right, well, I'm almost to the university to teach my calculus course out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this vlog. I had a lot of fun talking to you guys. So anything you wanna see with the channel, let me know about the giveaway, what's up on that, what you guys wanna see. And then also let me know what you think about my video format, my unboxing format, and my review format. And uh, we can discuss that in the comments too. All right, it's been Jeff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.